everyone, my name is Sandy, and in today's video, we are gonna be decorating for fall in the kitchen. This is the fourth video of my fall series. Be sure to keep watching. I upload on Sundays and Wednesdays, and we will continue with a few more videos. Now, adding these few touches, I'm hoping will give you an idea of how you can add either minimal or if you like more to your kitchen. I like to keep mine very minimal, but this kitchen is the heart of the home, so I definitely want to bring some fall touches as we spend so much time in the kitchen. So let's get started. We have a nice clean slate to start with. Now I wanna real quickly talk about kitchen appliances and I'm gonna use my Nugget ice maker as an example, which my husband was so gracious to buy me last year for Christmas. This functions for us, we use it daily and I don't get wrapped up in all, you know, everything being perfect. Social media just puts so much emphasis on everything needs to be perfect. We have to also work about function for our family. So if you have a mixer out or a toaster oven out, you can decorate around it. So don't get wrapped up that everything has to be perfect. So right next to that ice maker, I'm putting this beautiful cutting board down that is going to be a little vignette area for us. And I am going to go ahead and use this crock, which is actually a picture for my wooden spoons that are from Amazon. And I love the tones of the wood. And then I'm just adding this little pumpkin to add some texture to this warm tone area. Now we are going to move to the middle of this counter where my cooktop is. I'm adding this little basket, leaning it up against the wall, and I'm layering a couple cutting boards. Spoiler alert, I ended up using that basket somewhere else because I was just not liking the look of the cutting board with that little basket. So you'll see towards the end that I change it up. And then on the right side of my cooktop, I'm using this beautiful marble trivet and creating a little vignette with my oil and salt and pepper mills that are actually from Magnolia Hearth and Hand at Target. And I did a little DIY. I'll put that up here in the corner if you haven't already seen that. Then I'm adding this moody pitcher behind that. And that moody pitcher, it's a canvas that I got in a collection from Timu and I absolutely love it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my cookbooks that I tend to reach for the most. And I'm gonna lean those up against the wall so I don't have to be digging for them all the time. And this is giving me function and adding a little decor by the different colors of those cookbooks. Then this is actually a marble tray that looks like a cutting board. I've had this for years. I'm gonna again create another vignette by using this beautiful little lamp that I got for $8 on Facebook Marketplace. And then I'm going to use my thrifted little pitcher with these cute little leaf spoons from Hobby Lobby and just a little sprig of flower to add a little color to this side of the room. And that completes that look. Now I'm bringing that basket over to this side of room and I'm gonna camouflage this microwave, which spoiler alert, we ha are having built in. So I laid that down and then I added one little mum with that color that I'm sprinkling around the room. And I love that color and it looks so pretty in that vase. Then I'm layering my acorns, sort of like putting them on top of each other. And just to break up some of that cream, I'm adding a little bit more texture with this pumpkin. And I love the way this turned out. It really is just so pretty and does do a good job of camouflage collaging that microwave. This little basket is our catch-all, so I put that back, and then I put this little ceramic, little sort of like candy dish pumpkin next to it, and it absolutely turned out so beautiful. Now I'm going over to my little breakfast nook, and I added that plaid placemat just to break up all the cream, and then I put my little black vase and the mouth of the vase is really big so I added this little vase to put the florals in and this helps them stand straight up and then I bent them a little bit just to give them some motion and again I'm sprinkling that color over to that side of the room and I topped it off with this little candle.
I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you lots of inspiration for your kitchen. As always, I'll have as many of the pieces linked below for you. In case you missed my last video, I shared a curated affordable collection for fall, which I will have linked up here. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. If you're new here, I hope you will consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. I have more videos coming up in this fall series, so be sure to set that bell notification. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye now.